I'm telling you. I don't have any part of this. Just ask Johnny. Oh, unless... Unless you killed him. But now I'm next. Glenn, do it! Do it! Don't make me wait, you son of a... Okay, thank you. So Sorry, are you sure you didn't want me to- No, thank you, that was great, really. Okay. Next. Hi, I'm Caitlin Tustin, and I'll be auditioning for the role of... Girl number six. Oh, sure, so I know that she's called Girl Number Six, but she is crucial to this story. Like, like she is the surrogate for the audience, right? So Trevor draws this deep connection with her as a hostage, where you see her drama and sincerity. Yeah, I, I read the, and, the whole and script. And actually, it's claw of it all. Great. Okay. Whenever you're ready. No, don't. That was great. Thanks. Uh, actually, I would love to see one more uh, with a little bit more. I don't know what that means. Uh, I think he's saying we really want to feel the urgency, mm. okay? Yeah, so, urgency. again. Don't do it. It won't get you what you want. <laughs> Wait, those aren't my words. <laughs> Sorry, I just felt like maybe it would heighten the urgency like you were talking about. Well, I kind of liked it. Also, it says I'm wearing sunglasses. Yes. Why? I don't have to explain my art to you. But she's inside, right? As an award-winning writer, People's Choice, I know that every character needs to have a thing. And you came up with sunglasses? <laughs> oh, she's blind. No. She could be. No. I agree, we're cutting the sunglasses. You can't just cut the sunglasses. I can, I'm the director. And you can't just shoehorn a prop in where it doesn't belong. Ooh, what if she's blind? That's a great idea. But she can't see. That's why she's means. wearing I know what blind means. But that's why she's we wearing sunglasses. We all know sunglasses. what blind means. All right, do it again. But blind. Don't do it. It won't get you what you want. That was really good. Yeah, I, I feel like the sunglasses really sold it. It wasn't the sunglasses. Listen, we don't usually do this in the room, but we'd like to offer you the part of girl number six. Which, of course, will have to be renamed to blind girl. Wow. Um, what? Well, I mean, I just I had one more thought. Let's hear it. Well, so this scene on page 83, this line about doesn't matter seems off. You read Trevor and I'll read the wife. You told me you were done. I know what I said. It's one. Last job. You know I wouldn't do this if I had a choice. There's always a choice. I didn't. Want this for us. Uh, us. Uh, for us. It doesn't matter what you want for us. Uh, sure, when you say it like that. How else would you say it? Let me show you. You told me you were done. I know what I said. It's one last job. You know I wouldn't do this if I had a choice. There's always a choice. I didn't want this for us. It doesn't matter what you want for us. That was good. That makes sense. That was real good. Thank you. <laughs> Not you. I'd like to try something if we could. Uh, go to page 112. It's the scene where uh, Trevor is talking to Brad. So Brad's like a real smooth talker, knows how to get what he wants. He's been a part of Trevor's crew for a while. Let's do this scene, but I'd like you to play Trevor Gorf... Gorfersh. Gorf... Go Gofersh. Gofersh? Gofersh. I'd like you to play Trevor Gorfersh. The lead? Trevor is a man. Right, but we could easily change that. Make it Trish Gorfersh. Gorfersh. But but if we made it a woman, we'd have to completely rewrite the script. Why? If we changed it to a woman, I'd have to reassess the motivations, the character development. Or just hit having a I think this could work. Action. So I'm hearing your back. No, this is a one-time thing. I've heard that before. I mean it. Extenuating circumstances. I've heard that before, too. It feels kind of weird. How so? Well, they just sort of jump right in. I understand that they've worked jobs before together, but... They were friends too, right? I mean, wouldn't they have some sort of small talk? Like what? Well, they could talk about the weather. You know, like it's been raining or, or wow, it is hot. Wow, it's hot. Wow, it is hot. Who says wow, it is hot? Wow, wow it, it's hot. Wow, I mean, hot. wow, it's hot. Either way, that's not how people talk in real life. Plus, I think there's more of a problem here. What's the problem? This is meant to be your crucial scene, your big speech, your oh, captain, my captain moment. But it's just not doing that. Okay. 
What would you do differently? Well, you need conflict. But they're a team. Teams can fight. Sure, but why? Because then the speech means something. It gives it stakes. It brings them back together and unites them. Okay, I feel like we're united here, but you just keep trying to take control. Like you weren't even supposed to be part of this job. Well, things change. Sure, but... But nothing. Hey, we had this all planned out. Yeah, and your plan was bad. Do you want this to work out? Do you want to walk away with success in hand? Do you want to reap the benefits of all your hard work? Do you want to line your pockets with money, walk away from the day-to-day -day garbage, and spend the rest of your life sipping drinks that are served out of coconuts on a beach somewhere? Then you open yourself up to the change that comes, because the only thing you can plan on is the plan changing. So you adapt. That's my plan. And working together, we can do this. We can find the flaws and fix them. We can adapt when things don't work out. Ultimately, we can pull this off together. Not me, not you, but us. Were you writing that down? I was writing that down. Okay, I think it goes without saying at this point, but you are hired. Let's take it back two pages. Ready? And... and